we'll hear from Senators Turner and Kafaro in a minute, and also from a very courageous survivor. But first, I also want to acknowledge Senator Brown and Senator Tavares for joining us today. Thank you. We're here today to raise our voices for change. Survivors deserve justice, no matter how long it takes. Nearly a dozen states, including Kansas, eliminated the statute of limitations on rape. Ohio should too, and here's why. The impact of rape does not go away after 20 years, nor should the option of prosecuting perpetrators for these crimes. Most survivors do not report, and there's a reason for that, which you will hear about from a courageous survivor here today. Most rapists are serial offenders. Not only do most rapists tend to commit more than one rape, but many commit multiple rapes as well as other types of crime, including murder and other acts of interpersonal violence against adults and young children. By eliminating the statute of limitations on rape and sexual battery, we stand a greater chance of catching and prosecuting to the fullest extent possible criminals who have committed multiple crimes, thus promoting justice for victims and making our community safer in the process. In efforts to reduce the rape kit backlog and analyze kits that were not previously analyzed for DNA have revealed that justice has come too late. The first indictment was audio from Ohio Attorney General Mike Twine's Sexual Assault Kit Testing Initiative to examine decades worth of 